Hey, good morning. It's Patrick Johnston here, managing broker and co-owner of LasTerrenasLife.com and GoDominicanLife.com here in beautiful, peaceful Las Terrenas, Dominican Republic right now. I thought I would give you um, a synopsis of a year in review. Let's look at what 2020, 2021 was and the fun and excitement and challenges that we had. And let's compare it to where we see it happening now in 2022. And I made a list of things because I don't like to not remember things. So forgive me for my notes. But 2021 was an interesting year for all of us. Look, uh, if you looked at it and you looked at it globally, real estate appreciation was like this. Like you were a complete idiot if you did not uh, literally take a gamble on any piece of real estate in 2021. Now we had pre-construction projects that we sold clients, let's call it in January 2021. And by August 2021 in this country, they're up 50 to $75,000 and hadn't even closed on it yet. It was a pre-construction. Literally, they sold the paper contract. We've done that many times, but two come to memory right away. So it was a really strange year. It was a year that people believed they were the complete experts, that they predicted time, they predicted that the value would go crazy. It was just what it was. We had a strange situation where we had lack of flights to the Dominican Republic. We had pent up demand from the northern areas of Canada and the US. The lockdowns that were happening in, in those, both those countries, people either were saving a ton of money or were not having enough money in their life depending on what kind of career path they were on. So people were calling us on WhatsApp and we were showing them video and they were buying sight unseen without even coming here. That was crazy. However, that is technology and that's where we are today. It's just normally done that way now, but it was just so strange that we would take a phone call, patch it through to the lawyer and then go to the closing date. It was just, it was an amazing thing, but people were making decisions because they were figuring out that their life wasn't what it was uh, and what they're expecting and they wanted to still dream and travel and, and make a plan for it. There was also globally lack of inventory. And that includes here in the Dominican Republic. I mean, for years and years, the market was like a one or 3% market gain, you know, little bit by little bit. But then all of a sudden when the, when, uh, the situation hit, you call it, people simply got off their chair and made a decision to buy. So we had, you know, it's the Sua Cabaret area when prices were always available around $100,000 or less as an average going up to say 150,000. All of a sudden now you can't get anything less than 150,000. But for years before it was a very, you know, 1%, 0% gain in the market. Here in Las Terrenas, uh, at the beginning, uh, at the tail end of 2020, w the market launched just about 580 condominiums in collectively from all builders that year. And then from January 2021 till May of 2021, the market, which includes us as seller uh, marketers and all the others collectively, literally sold 95% of those condominiums before they were built. Mostly to people that weren't even here. So it says something about that, right? It really does. It, it makes it, it really legitimized many things um, back in, the, in 2021. Uh, mainly, uh, if you were working from home uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, that was a really strange thing. But in the pandemic, it became the norm. So people could do other things. They saved a couple of hours a day in their commuting time. They could be with their family. They could eat meals, all three meals with their family. You know, a lot of people would say, I want to get out of my family for a couple hours. But the idea is it was flipped upside down. So people had time to think, time to plan and time to take action. And, and they certainly did. Now, the other thing that was a, a big deal last year was building materials went up 30 to 40 percent. So between construction uh, materials like concrete or in North America, wood products, all of those things went sky high. Uh, and although the cost of labor in this country did not go at the same rate of, of increase, 
construction materials did change dramatically, which resulted in price increases, of course, in this market, price increases in North America, et cetera. But I believe that will change in 2022, and we'll cover that in a minute. Uh, in, in North American marketplace, and here at certain levels, there was labor market, uh, labor shortages, certain things, more of the highly skilled areas, electricians, uh, concrete uh, specialists, uh, design specialists that way. General labor was not bad, but the specialists became an issue. Uh, all the, in 2021, we all remember all the restrictions, all the changes, all of them always, always, always changing. Uh, that was a challenge for all of us. How do we show a house? Do we have wear a mask? Do we not wear a mask? Uh, do we do it only in the daytime? Because curfew was at five o'clock here for most of the last year, Saturdays and Sundays. At one point it was 12 noon we had to be in our home. So everyone had to adjust. And because we had less time to do our business, people made decisions like with less time. So the market became faster as a result. But uh, the other thing in North America was the mass uh, resignation process. Uh, and I don't think it was people quitting the job and not doing anything for the rest of their life. But literally, when you're locked down and you have to really rethink your life, you really think, do I need to commute two hours a day to work every day? Um, if I now can do my real skill online in my home, do I need to stay in the home I'm at? Or can I go somewhere else that is cheaper, faster, better, easier, no matter where that is? So a lot of these rethinking of your life and lifestyle impacted us in 2021. People moved from, we saw the urban removal, Toronto, New York, uh, Vancouver, uh, moving out of the cities uh, and selling real estate at inflated highly inflated in prices in my opinion, and buying down market in rural or smaller cities, medium to small towns, paying off their home in cash and having cash in the bank because people were just really adjusting their life to think, do I need this stress? Do I need this crap in my life? Do I need to drive two hours each way to work? Uh, that type of thing. Do I need that stress of driving? Do I need that second car uh, or do I not at all? So these are things that we're all going through the mindset of 2021. Now let's move into 2022 because we entered in the Dominican Republic, we entered 2022 with literally no restrictions. All the flights around the world were recovering. Uh, uh, what else? It was just, it was a breath of fresh air. I remember Lucien and I were at, uh, at a New Year's event and it wasn't crowded, it was the right amount of people, fireworks, people were happy, people were dressed up nicely. It was, it was just a very pleasant beginning of uh, a brand new year. So it brought optimism, it brought hope and dreams, and we thought, wow, this is really going to make a change. And I think when we take that approach, uh, on the day, on the very, the last day of 2021, I mean, New Year's Eve, and we walk into 2022 with that mindset, we, didn't, we weren't there one year prior. We were in fear, pain, uh, uncertainty at the same time one year ago, but now we enter 2022 with all of that hope, the dreams. We have some money in our pocket because we couldn't do any entertainment for like a year, you know, things like that. So people started changing. So let me read you some of these lists. We now have increased new construction inventory nationwide in the Dominican Republic. Uh, developers uh, during 2021, uh, because of the confidence in, in the buyer market, decided to hammer down and, and, and make commitments to build more projects. In this Samana, literally we went from 2021 with maybe 550 condos announced collectively to today, one project was announced with 435 condos in one project. We are building our own project with 37 uh, units and there's hundreds of projects nationwide in here in the Dominican Republic that have launched. So Samana specifically, we went from roughly 550 in 2021 to north of, I would say 2,500 to 3,000 units, which opens the door, which brings prices more reasonable, which gives 
more inventory to choose from uh, with delivery dates that'll happen in 2023 and 2024. So we can all plan and no, not panic and take the time and make a commitment. But that gives hope. It gives a breath to the market. It gives speed to the market as the market globally from all the stuff of the last two years recovers from negativity into the positive zone. 2022 also gives us financing options. Uh, 2020 and 2021, we were an all cash market kind of crowd. You could get some form of financing in this country, but if you could wait four to six months to get it done, good for you. That's a process I, I'm not uh, happy to follow, but it is there. But in 2022, our company can offer you financing from anyone from North America, anyone from around the world now can purchase a property with a mortgage through our company when that is fairly unique in this country and we can offer that service for you. Uh, 2020, 20, 2022 for us also brought into uh, perspective property management, short-term rental management because so many of our clients are buying condos or villas that they're going to use between two and six weeks a year or uh, three months a year for the winter market but then every other time they want someone to look after the property and manage it and run the rental program. So we brought a team on board to take care of that service for our clients that are involved in that. We did not have mortgage financing. We did not have short-term rentals last two years. Now we do. As I mentioned, all the restrictions are, have been easing. Even as of today's date, January 27th, 2022, uh, globally, um, the, the pandemic seems to be entering into an endemic situation, which is very, very good news for all of us around the world because uh, the severity of the past is the past. And now we are learning to live with uh, a very much more uh, reduced risk. And then the world is getting confidence again and opening back up and the restrictions are dropping. So these are very important things. And again, 2022 is a, a year of positivity. Uh, let's go back to pent-up demand because in 2021, many people uh, lost out on opportunities because they, they were uh, trigger shy when it came to making a decision and uh, certain properties that they were considering offering on were then uh, purchased uh, because they just weren't quick enough or had the confidence yet or the experience to make that purchase. But because of increased inventory and pent-up demand, we're receiving more clients on a regular basis now into this country. So I think the other thing that people are, are, are looking at is that they are either forcing themselves into retirement because the, the perfect storm is happening in North America where you have historically low interest rates that are, are about to change. The Bank of Canada has announced in the next six weeks they're going to be reviewing a potential price hike in the interest rate. What that does is try to stall down the market, which will bring values to sort of a flat line value or possibly start to have a slight decline. What that will trigger is many people that are in their, their borderline, do I retire, do I not retire, uh, do I work part-time or I work full-time? Property values have gone up almost 50 to 80% in two years, depending on the market in Canada. Uh, which was totally unexpected. So if you had a house in Toronto and your market went up 50 or 80% of already a, an average home price over a million dollars, you know what? If you had a million dollar gain on your property in the last two years in Canada, you should consider seriously selling in this marketplace and relocating, taking that money, putting it into either investment real estate that's going to generate a salary through you or for you either you do it directly and manage it yourself or hire someone like us to do it for you but earn money in US dollars earn money in a low tax country have that gain that you did not expect in 2021 and 2020 in real estate in Canada and put it to work in 2022 for you all right I've been in this business for 25 years. I've seen the market go like this. I've seen it go like this, and then it goes like this again, and it goes a little bit down, and then it goes a little bit up. But you've ne nobody has really lost in real estate unless they sold at the wrong time. 
And this time, right now, in real estate, when the interest rates are so low, there's the threat of interest rates are gonna change. It's a tight market. And the buyer market is insane in Canada. They, they'll buy anything currently. You have that perfect storm of high demand, low interest rate, and consumer confidence. So if you're in that edge of, do I retire or not retire? This is really a time for you to consider that. Okay, so let's sum it up to say this. And I wrote it exactly like this. 22, 2022 is a reflection on what is important in my life. 2022 is a reflection of what is important in my life or your life. I made that decision when I had my own personal pandemic or my experience of that in 2020, 2014 and 2015, when I chose to relocate outside of Canada to here in the Dominican Republic for my own reasons. I don't regret it at all. I don't believe you'll regret it either. This is a time to reflect on what is important in your life. If you want to not commute anymore, if you want to have this weather every morning, you want to have fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, you want to see the beach or the ocean daily, you want to go for a walk on the beach, you want to have a nice dinner in your home with all fresh ingredients, to sleep when you hear the sound of waves in the background. This is what you deserve this is what we put up with as a global community for the past two years, stopping our life, literally. Now is your time to reflect on what is important in your life. So I'm Patrick Johnston. I'm here throughout this country with our team of 15 people to help you and guide you through your life change going from 1.0 to 2.0. Reach out to us. My WhatsApp number is here. 829-525-1782. I answer all texts, all phone calls live, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. Otherwise, I will respond the next day. But let us work for you. Let us help you. Let us guide you. Come to the beach, as life is better at the beach. Adios.